There's really been only one project with Star Wars under the Disney banner that didn't have a surprise guess in. That's somebody that shows up that we didn't know about, that they kept a closely guarded secret. And that one project is The Force Awakens. Now, one could argue that the Clone Wars Season 7 also had no cameos in it or a surprise guess, but I don't count that one because The Clone Wars was already a project before Disney purchased it. But let's take a look at the ones that did have surprise visitors in it. Rebels, we had Ahsoka and Thrawn. Rogue One, we had Darth Vader. The Last Jedi with Yoda. Solo, a Star Wars story with Maul, or Darth Maul if you prefer. The Rise of Skywalker had Wedge Antilles. The Mandalorian had Grogu and Boba Fett. The Bad Batch had Kanan Jarrus, or Caleb Doom at that point. And the Book of Boba Fett had Cad Bane. So it seems Star Wars has really become a thing of throwing in cameos or surprise guests and keeping them a closely guarded secret until that time comes. Welcome back everyone, I'm Gerald and I'm a Star Wars fanatic and you can be a Star Wars fanatic too. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. Subscribing is absolutely free. We may not agree on every topic that I talk about, but we do agree on one thing. We love Star Wars. Okay, with that said, let's get on with today's topic. So, who will be the closely guarded secret of the Kenobi series? Well, a lot of fans are hoping for Commander Cody. I as well. And I think it only makes sense that Cody would be introduced into the Kenobi series. Or reintroduced, really, at this point. Last time we saw Cody live action was in Revenge of the Sith. I think this would be a welcome come back for the character. Now a little background story about the Kenobi series if you don't know and I'm sure you do. I'm not trying to act like anybody's stupid. I know you all understand the premise of the story but I'm just going to give a little bit into it. Obi-Wan Kenobi's on his own. All on his own. He's being hunted by the Empire, Darth Vader, uh, presumably the Emperor, the Inquisitors and any bounty hunters they can get a hold of. Boba Fett or even Cad Bane. But I don't want to speculate too much on that because it's only going to be a six episode series and with six episodes you can't really cram it full of cameos. The biggest cameo that makes the most sense is Commander Cody. He and Obi-Wan Kenobi were close during the Clone Wars. Not as close as Obi-Wan and Anakin. We already know that's going to be a gut-wrenching fight between those two. But what about Cody? What kind of role could he play in this new series? Those of you who are fans of the Cody Legends stories, or Legends of Cody, or there's Cody in Legends, whatever. It, those of you who are a fan of that, and I am as well, those stories could still be true. Cody could have went on to train Imperial soldiers. He could have stayed in the Imperial Army. And now he's hunting Kenobi just as the Inquisitors are hunting Kenobi, and possibly even some of the bounty hunters that I said before could be hunting. Kenobi! No, I'm not suggesting that Maul will be in this Kenobi series. Why? Because his story played out in Rebels. Yes, sure, the Kenobi series is before the death of Maul, but at the same time, Maul doesn't really fit into this structure. He could, but this is more about the Imperial hunting and the Darth Vader hunting of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This isn't so much about Maul looking for Kenobi. That happened during Rebels, and we saw how that played out. But I could be wrong. Maul could be the one to show up in Kenobi. I mean, I was wrong about Luke Skywalker. I didn't think he really would have a place in the Book of Boba Fett before it came out. And I was wrong. There he was. So, so be it. I'm allowed to be wrong. I'm human like everybody else. But I do think Cody is going to play a part in this, even if it's just a minor part. I don't think it'll be too minor, though. I think he'll have... Yeah, maybe a medium part, you know, maybe like a Cad Bane-ish part or something, like in the Book of Boba Fett. Now, when we think about Cody and Kenobi, we know during the Clone Wars, they were really close. They were really, really close. Cody went almost everywhere with Obi-Wan Kenobi, and even to save Anakin, or Anakin saving Cody and Kenobi. 
they were really close. So this is going to be an emotional impact if these two do meet because Cody presumably still has his chip in and Order 66 is still playing over in his head. Good soldiers follow orders. Good soldiers follow orders. So he's going to be after Kenobi. So what kind of position does that leave Obi-Wan Kenobi in? Well, it leaves him in the position where he's either going to have to escape Cody for a very long time and keep shaking him off his tail or he's going to have to kill Cody and be done with it. Now, if we look at A New Hope and anything from the Imperial era, therefore after we don't see anything or hear any mention of Commander Cody. Now that doesn't mean Com Cody is not alive at this time, it just means that it seems Obi-Wan Kenobi is a little more free to move about now. So. There aren't Inquisitors chasing him anymore in A New Hope, and Commander Cody is presumably gone. Now, that also means that the story time in Obi-Wan Kenobi's hut with Luke Skywalker, where Obi-Wan tells Luke of what happened to his father, that means that that lie makes a little more sense, because he doesn't mention Cody. So that means things really got to Kenobi after Order 66, like that of Anakin Skywalker turning to the dark side. That really affected him. We know that. That's obvious. I guess you could call me Captain Obvious for that one. Now, I know the character of Commander Cody was never written when A New Hope was done, but let's take it into a canon timeline and take it into a full canon story that is coherent and cohesive. That means that Obi-Wan Kenobi would not have brought up Cody because Cody meant so much to him and it was disastrous for him to have to kill him just as it was disastrous for him to have to chop off anakin's arms and, and legs and leave him there burning now that's not saying cody meant as much to obi-wan as anakin did but we are starting to see something form here there's attachments with obi-wan kenobi he loved anakin something he was not supposed to do he was supposed to raise him as a padawan make him a jedi and let go of him but he didn't. He held on to him. As you can see, they continued being a team after Anakin became a Jedi Knight and even while he was on the council. And Obi-Wan forming attachments such as he did with Duchess Satine Kreese would make more sense that it would be hard for Kenobi to kill Cody. Why? Well, let's look at uh, Yoda's ventures into Order 66. When Commander Gree came up behind him and was going to shoot Yoda in the back. Yoda just flipped around, cut his heads off, and didn't think twice about it. It was almost like it was instinct. Yoda didn't care, you know, because Yoda was good at not forming attachments. Yoda didn't form an attachment with his clones. Yes, during the first episode of the Clone Wars, or the Clone Wars movie, I can't remember which one it was, Yoda told them they're individuals despite having the same face, but that didn't mean he formed an attachment with them. Kenobi, on the other hand, Obi-Wan formed an attachment with his clones. He formed an attachment with his Padawan. Those he was around, he formed attachments with. Now we can argue and say, no, 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 Obi-Wan was the perfect Jedi, but I think that makes him the perfect Jedi. That Kenobi could form these attachments and not let it hinder his job, his duty, his way of being a Jedi, his protecting others and being a guardian of peace. But I've gone on about that long enough. Maybe I'll make, a, make another video about Obi-Wan Kenobi's attachments and how it affected him as a Jedi. Yeah, remind me of that in the comments. But this is about Cody, and I do think Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to be forced to kill Cody. Not that I want that to happen. I don't. I, I like Commander Cody. I think he's a really cool clone. And he's one of the only main clones that hasn't had his chip removed or been killed already. So... I'm interested to see what's going to happen with this, and I hope you all are too. And if it doesn't happen, I'm okay with that. If we don't see Cody, fine. That's fine with me. I'm good with that. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Will Cody show up? Will Obi-Wan Kenobi be... Will he be forced to kill Cody? And... I hope that's not the case, but I do have a feeling that's where it's going to go. Like I said before, Disney has had almost every project in Star Wars has had 
a cameo or a surprise guest that nobody knew was coming with all the set leaks and all the news rumors and all that nobody knew these people were coming yes sure we speculated that maybe cad bane would show up because he was a crucial part of boba fett's history but cody is also a crucial part of obi-wan kenobi's history and it only makes sense but let me know in the comments what you think this is gerald from star wars fanatic signing off wishing you all great health happiness and a wonderful star wars day thank you for watching and remember this is the way the only way